Okay, we're assuming that you lost power to electrical outlet or maybe multiples of electrical outlets in a living room, bedroom, in those type of locations. Uh, and we're assuming that all of our electrical panel breakers are on, none of them tripped. And we're assuming also that these are not GFCI protected, okay? So in that case, um, all you gotta do if you don't have this tool, uh, we will go through every single non-working outlet with this type of a plug tester, or you can just use a lamp, just a desk lamp, whatever you have, and we're gonna look for a sign of a flickering or even on this uh, tester, we're gonna look for something like this where we plug it in, basically lights start flickering and they don't stay on, and as we move on to the next outlets, they're completely dead. So in that case, uh, you know that you have detected outlet that has loose wiring, melted wiring, and I'm gonna show you a couple that I have just pulled out uh, from recent troubleshootings where basically um, that's, that's what was happening. So many, many electricians use backstabbing method where when any of these outlets, any of them become loose, it will start arcing and that heat from the arcing will start melting the outlet. And of course, these types of uh, side mounted, um, basically options fail as well. Again, when they loop, when they wired it like this with the screw, so basically the wiring is screwed on uh, but it's loose, it will still melt the outlet. You can see like this, and finally just all this uh, plastic gets in the way around the wire because you will be loading. When you load, it will heat, and when you unload, it will dry, it will cool off, and it will finally basically lose contact with the outlet, and that's when it stops working. So. These are the basically scenarios. This is another one where it was backstabbed and just melted, stopped working. Basically, it's, it was feeding itself, but it wasn't letting power go through the rest of the chain because most of the outlets are chain, just like this. Basically, power comes into one outlet and goes into another, and then it just keeps jumping from one to another and anywhere it fails, it will just basically stop sending power to the outlet. Another way uh, I would just, to detect, I would just go through the outlets and look for a sign, something like this, brownish, yellowish uh, contacts of the duplex outlet, where it will, you will clearly see that something wrong with this outlet, that it's burning or it's about to melt. You can tell this without even removing the plate of the outlet, okay? So this is very, very simple video. I hope it helps someone who has a problem where they, you just loaded your circuit with heater or AC or anything powerful that it's not designed to um, basically carry that much of a load. So that's the video, thanks for watching.